Hey, Dr. Wee. Um, Hi, Joe. I, uh, you know, I'm a professional bass player, and uh, oftentimes I'm, I'm, my hands are in this position, and I'm playing like this, and um, recently I've started to have some pain uh, and some little bit of numbness sometimes and some burning sensation in my hands, and I'm, I'm nervous that I might start to develop some carpal tunnel, and, um, and I want to avoid that, and I, I'd like to you know, use the laser touch one to uh, to treat it. Sure. So Indeed, those are signs, early signs of carpal tunnel. And basically what happens is that, that this area here is where your tendons and your nerves go through and sometimes it gets congested and it kind of pinches the nerve, causing the burning and tingling. So why don't you uh, take your, uh, I, I see that you just got yourself one of these uh, laser touch ones. Yes. Okay. Well, it's uh, the right device. We've had great success with it, and uh, you already know how to use it and adjust it. And the main area where you treat is here into the hand and also up here. And while you're doing that, I'm going to show you on this little chart I have on the, behind you um, what areas. And this, as you can see, this little white band here. That is the. It, it's it's a band of fascia, that's real hard, tough uh, material that goes across and as you can see underneath there's all these tendons and between the tendons there's nerves and blood vessels and so when the arm gets overworked and these muscles get tight or tired and they start pulling it causes irritation right in this little space down here and the poor little nerves are the ones that get compressed and and then you get a tingling and, and sometimes burning and sometimes pain in your hand and sometimes this uh, a hard time making a fist and so on. And so as you stimulate the area, uh, particularly in the uh, carpal tunnel, the swelling should uh, gradually come down. And if you work the muscles themselves on the forearm, do you find any knots or bands in there as you go across? I have a, I have a, a few knots kind of in, in this area here, okay. and uh, but I can actually already start to feel things really loosening up. That's a great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And if you do that regularly, and and my suggestion is if you have a busy um, or a period where you have to play the bass quite a bit, like for instance if you're performing or if you're recording in the studio, why don't you treat before and during during the little breaks, just stretch your hand and arm and maybe even treat it again. You know, you can use this multiple times a day and hopefully therefore avoid it getting worse and eventually uh, maybe having to have some intervention done, like surgery. Right, no, and, yeah. and, you know, and so use it. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's meant for that. Well, thanks a lot. You're welcome.